Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to enable all the new features that are slowly rolling out or are hidden in the latest dev channel build in the Windows Insider program. Well, as always, I'm going to show you all the IDs and features that I have to enable. And also at the end of the video, of course, I'm going to showcase all the new features that we've just enabled. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, as always, we're going to have to set a Vive tool on our computer just go ahead and get vive tool from the article below in the video description and make sure you get the latest version that's it can then extract it into a dedicated folder and of course using the default windows extracting tool i'm going to click on browse and i'm going to extract it into a dedicated folder hidden features inside local disk c we're also going to have to copy this location because we're going to need it whenever we are running the commands click on extract and in my case i'm going to have to replace the files in the destination so this is all you have to do to set up vive tool now just open up the cmd as administrator just going to click on run as administrator and first of all type in this command prompt cd and the location where we extracted vive tool before showing you any id and command a huge shout out to phantom of earth on twitter for providing all the ids and information about all these features so go ahead and follow him if you want to learn more about hidden features or slowly rolling out features like these ones first of all we're going to have to enable two ids that are required for the other features to work. So we're gonna type in vibe tool slash enable slash AD 48433719 and comma 505641196 and then press enter. And you should receive the message to successfully set feature configuration. All the commands and IDs that I'm showing you in this video will be provided in the article below. So you can just copy and paste them from there. You don't have to pause the video or anything. Now, yet again, vibe tool slash enable slash AD 45130483. Press enter. This is the the command and ID that will enable the new Call Explorer Home UI with the shared folders. And again, we should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. Now, yet again, Vive tool slash enable slash AD. We have two IDs here: three two 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 seven six two comma four seven two zero five two one zero, and then press enter. This will enable the new jump list for the pinned Start Menu apps. Next up, Vive tool slash enable slash AD four six eight seven four four one five, and then press enter. This will enable the simplified system tray with short time and date and hidden notification icon by default and all the options next up we have the ability to share files directly from Windows Search. That is five tools slash enable slash AD 4528-6411. Then press enter. The new detach VHD button in settings is 4456-0941. Press enter. The new fonts location from the old control panel to the new settings app is 4817-7092. And then press enter. And lastly, the new Wi-Fi password dialog with an updated design is the ID 4063-7063. And then press enter. These are basically all the commands and IDs that you want and you need to enable all the features, make sure to check out the article below if you want to just copy and paste them. Now we can exit out from the CMD and restart our computer for all the changes to take effect. After the restart, let's check out the new features that we've just enabled. First of all, in the File Explorer, we're going to notice that we have this new UI, these new pills with rounded corners that match the Windows 11 design principles with recent favorites and also shared files, which you can have here more info about name, date, shared, and also file location. We also have the new jump list for certain apps in the start menu in the pinned section so for example microsoft edge right clicking on it and we have these new jump lists i think that is pretty nice if we right click on the taskbar then go to taskbar settings we're going to notice date and time and notifications and related settings on date and time and if you expand show time and date in the system tray we're going to have this new option to show abbreviated time and date which will shorten the time and date and also in taskbar settings if you go to notifications expand notifications we're going to notice this new option show notification bell icon which you can turn on or off and Windows search if we're searching for an image for example let me search for a wallpaper if you click on this you're gonna notice that you have the new option to share the file directly from Windows search also in settings if we create a VHD so for example I'm gonna name it test give it a size 100 megabytes for example and a location I'm gonna click on create it's gonna create it initialize format it and we're gonna see it here down below and you should see the new option detach VHD whenever you're going into property if we're searching for fonts in Windows search and then press enter you're gonna notice that we we will now be redirected to the new section in the new settings app. And finally, if we're going to network and internet Wi-Fi, our Wi-Fi connection, and then show the password, we're going to notice that we now have this new UI on this dialog that matches the Windows 11 design. 
So this is how you can enable all the new features and how all the new features look. If you want to learn more info about all of these, the commands that I've used, Vive tool and so on, you can check out the article below in the video description. Also, a huge thank you to Phantom of Earth for providing all the information for this video on his Twitter account. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBay channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Ozzy Mario from TechBay's, until next time, have a nice day.